Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got some more vintage pattern content. So I haven't actually bought any vintage patterns in a long time. I've uh, just been going through the bulk lot I bought a few years ago that was over 400 patterns. But having done a few videos on the channel and having been talking to people about them, I got really excited about buying them again and went on eBay and I bought a box of patterns. So this lot was called Lot of Vintage Sewing Patterns, 1950s through 1990s, various brands, a lot of 25. And I've just received and opened the box. Here's the 25 patterns, 50s to 90s. And I thought I would, I haven't looked through these yet. I've just opened the box and taken them out. And so I thought I'd go through them with you guys and see what we find. Are there actually 50s patterns in here? I definitely see what looks like some 90s ones. So let's get going. I'm also interested to see what percentage is 90s versus 50s. Like, so here we've got Vogue 9350. Uh, that looks like the smaller end of their size range. At, at this point, patterns were coming in multiple sizes in one envelope. The older patterns, like this one, this one's the next on the pile. This is only one size in the envelope, but this has three sizes. So this looks 90s. It's a cute little jacket. Loose fitting unlined jacket, extended shoulder, shoulder pads. <coughs> Gotta have those shoulder pads in the 90s. But yeah, so this is in very tiny print. 1995. It's actually pretty cute. Like that one's not quite so obviously 90s as some patterns are. So that's one for the 90s pile. Then uh, this one, as I said, this was next on the pile. This is adorable. McCall's 4380 in a bust size 32. This one looks like a little sailor sailor shirt. It's so cute. And this stamp is fun. Pruitt's Fabric Shop and Beauty Shop in College Station, Texas. I wonder what that was like. Yeah, this one's 1957. Okay, good start. First two patterns, 190s, 150s. This one can go over here. Next, Vogue again. 90s again, asymmetrical vest. I mean, where else would you find an asymmetrical vest? Dress below mid-calf has bias collar, extended shoulders, shoulder pads. <laughs> Loose fitting bodice, dirndl skirt, back zipper, long sleeves, lined vest has H, symmetrical button closing, purchased belt. All this 90s stuff is having sort of a, a comeback, it seems. Originally when I was starting this business and getting into all the vintage patterns, I really wanted to stick to the 50s and 60s. And I think I tossed out or gave away a bunch for cheap and or free a bunch of 90s patterns, but I don't know. I think it's coming back. We'll see if I end up putting these in the Etsy shop how they do. So again, here's another one. This one, this sort of looks like pajamas. And that one looks like business pajamas. Loose fitting wrap top. Okay, what's the date on this? 2001. Wow. Is this really what we were wearing in 2001? Okay, so two th we're gonna have to have a 2000s pile beside our 90s pile. Hey, this one is Butterick 2908. Again, bust size 32. If this whole box is from one collection, it's likely gonna be all bust size 32s. Now this is really cute. This little draped neckline, full skirt or pencil skirt. Those French darts, I think there's a name for that type of long dart that comes up from there. I love this pattern fabric. I want, I want that fabric. Yep, dress with draped neckline. Oh, it recommends jerseys. Jerseys, knits, crepes, Shiraz, linens, and silky cottons. It still wants you to have a zipper. These Butterick's didn't have the date on the outside of the envelope, but I would say that's a, that's an early 60s. That's a 60s that can go beside our beautiful sailor blouse. Ooh, a coat. Again, size 32. This is Simplicity 4639. Fun sort of A-line coat with or without collar, with or without pockets. But I mean, why wouldn't you make your coat with pockets? Oh, two different lengths. Oh yeah, she has a, is that the shorter one? With buttons or zip. But yeah, again, this one doesn't have a year printed on the envelope. There was a period of time there where Simplicity didn't do that. But I feel pretty safe saying that's a, uh, that's another 60s. Okay, here's another Simplicity. This is a fun set. It's, well, the number's torn off here, but that looks like a 32. 
Okay, Simplicity 1590, Mrs. Blouse, Skirt, Shorts, and Top. So you've got a whole set here. Very cute, good for a beach day. She's got her sunglasses, matching bracelet. Again, no date on the back of the pattern, but this looks like they're 50s, um, 50s logos. So I think I'll put that in the 50s pile. Well, here we come back, a bit more recent. Easy McCall's 5002. These shoulders, these 90s shoulders. I think there's gonna be a lot of these in that box. Yep, copyright, copyright 1990. Big shoulder dress. Oh, look at the look at the bat wing sleeves on that too. Wow. Okay, that goes in this pile. Oh my goodness, adorable little dresses and cute little Easter colors. And got a little bow. Okay, so this one's bigger. This one's a 34 bust, not a 32. Simplicity. I would guess early 60s. Again, not at the point where they're printing this on the envelope. One piece dress and jacket, detachable collar. Oh. Oh, so you can have collar or no, depending. I guess the collar's on the the collar's on the jacket, not the dress. So cute. I love these colors. I love this palette. I like the mint and the floral. Oh. One of each of these, please. This is cute. Again, I love the fabric of this one. Butterick 2948, bust size, we're back to 32 again. This one feels, you can tell when patterns have been used or not almost by feel because there's no, like it's flat, there's no lumps. Yeah, I bet that one's never been touched. Notch collared box jacket, three quarter length sleeves, front, front button sleeveless over blouse with or without belt, straight skirt. Very cute. I think this is more 60s pile than 50s. Oh, here's a fun ruffly dress with matching giant blazer. There's been a fair number of Vogues in this box. So this is very easy, very Vogue, 7202. Very loose fitting. It even says that unlined below hip jacket, extended shoulders with shoulder pads. <laughs> Always the shoulder pads. Always. You can have flared. Oh, I see. This one just has a flared skirt. This one has multiple flounces. Very fancy. So is this 90s or early 2000s? Do we not say? Will you not tell us, Vogue? Okay, here's the line drawings. As you can see, like there's little darts here, but it's basically just straight up and down. Uh -huh. So here, in the instructions is where you can sometimes check for a date if it's not on the envelope. And it's usually, I would expect it, like I originally expected it to be on this front page, like with the drawing and the number and everything, but it's usually at the very end of the instructions. So here, this is actually 1988. So this is our first fabulous 80s pattern. I have to say the dress does look pretty comfortable. They're just completely skim skim your entire body. And then there's a ruffle at the bottom and who doesn't love a ruffle? Okay, starting the 80s pile there. Okay, back to bust size 32 with Butterick 2884. Is this just the jacket? Mrs. Evening Jacket, cardigan jacket with three quarter length sleeves. What makes something a cardigan jacket, I wonder? Is there no closure? Oh yeah, there might be no closure on it. Again, giant dart going that way. And it looks like there's something interesting going on under the sleeve, either that or someone just was having fun when they were doing the illustration here. But it looks like there's a, a gusset under there. Oh, there we go, under sleeve, there's a whole piece. That's neat. I think I'll put this in the 60s pile. Oh, here's another easy McCall's. And you know, like I feel like you see people wearing dresses like this today, don't we? Am I just crazy? So this is McCall's 5161 Fashion Basics. But here we go again, copyright 1990. 
Wait, is this a jumpsuit? Is this dress? It is dress or jumpsuit. Wow. I feel like jumpsuit's really having a moment. What about a jumpsuit with giant shoulders? I've seen people in this dress on the street today. This one in particular. Another McCall's 8050. Pretty basic. I mean, everyone needs a good t-shirt pattern or tank top. Is this knits? No, it doesn't call for knit. It just says lightweight fabrics such as cotton and cotton blends. Or, or you could use cotton knit. It does say that there. Okay, so this one, not the most interesting, but should still be pretty useful. Although it's so simple. When do we think it's from? 1996. Again, good basics. Nine good basics in one envelope. Okay, here we have a kid's pattern. McCall's 5381. Children's unlined jacket, skirt, and pants. Even these kids' pants are starting to look like bell bottoms, so my guess is 70s. Yep, 1976. It's a little ripped off there, but 1976. Oh, here's more kids, and the pattern is very much the same style. So you can tell. Oh, although this one's 10 cents more expensive. Interesting. So is this? 1977. Okay, there was a 10 cent rise in price. And bathing suit, coveralls, jumpsuit. I don't tend to keep many of the kids' patterns in the shop for whatever reason. Okay, another McCall's. 67.99, bust size 34. Oh, interesting. This one, I mean, looks more recent, but is still only one size in this package. 1979. I would not have guessed. I mean, it's almost 80s, but the copyright is from 1979. It's cute. I like the gathering around the neckline here. And do we also have the jacket pattern? Yep, jacket and dress, pullover dress, gathered into neck binding. Again, I think that one looks quite, looks pretty modern. I guess this one has to go in the 70s pile though, even though it's 79, which is almost 80. Okay, cute. It's a McCall's quickie. <laughs> Uh, McCall 6878 in bust size 31. Recommended for beginners. Oh, look, you can tell. See, these two ladies look very cinched at the waist. And this one does not. So I don't think the dress has much shaping there. And these guys are just doing it with the, with the belts. V-neck dress, one piece front. Two pie back? Does it mean two part? What does that mean? Dress lining and tie belt or buckled belt are options. Oh yes, here we go, down here. Copyright 1963. So that's an, oops, upside down. So that's another one for the uh, 1960s pile. Yeah, I don't think I've seen one of these uh, labeled quickie before. Oh, this is a good one. Vogue 6988, 34 bust, 37 hip. It was only 75 cents. Look how cute. And look, the seaming on the jacket there, that's adorable. And then, okay, skirt, skirt and jacket, not dress. And here, this one has the copyright date on the front. It's a little scraped off, but I'm pretty sure it said 55. It's a bolero suit. Bolero has shaped front yoke, lap seam finish, center back seam with outside stitching. This is cute. And again, it feels thin and not like stuff has been stuffed back in there, like in a lumpy way, like either someone, either this hasn't been used or someone took the time to fold it up nicely and put it back. Again, I just opened this box, so I haven't checked the patterns to see if they have all their pieces, but this one feels like it might. I think this one's my favorite so far, but that changes every time I pick up another one. But this can definitely go in our 50s pile. So here we have a Butterick. 8232, bust size 34. And there's all the pieces. Someone's put this in its plastic in a plastic envelope. With cardboard here to keep everything nice. But we're interested in this. Is this maternity? This is how a lot of the maternity patterns looked. Maternity shirt dress and separates. It's like I've looked at a lot of these patterns or something. <laughs> and no year. 
of interesting that it doesn't say maternity anywhere on the front. I guess, were you trying to hide it? Was it too shameful to talk about? She doesn't look like we have the instructions. This just looks like pattern pieces. At this age of pattern, I can't remember if Butterick put it on the instructions, but it's def the copyright date is definitely not on the envelope. I think it might skew more 50s and 60s, or at least maybe early 60s with this one. It doesn't look like our previous Butterick 60s patterns in the art layout, so I'm going to put this one on the 50s pile. And it's already in its own nice envelope. Okay, so here's another one in protective plastic and cardboard. Simplicity 2663. More maternity? Yes. Two piece and one piece maternity dress with detachable collar in junior and Mrs. sizes. I mean, it's a cute, it's a cute coat. It's a coat or dress. What is happening here? Dress and top has a yoke set in sleeves, front and vertical pleat and belt pockets. Soft collar, collar pleats. Contrast skirt has cut out front and back kick pleat. Okay, so that is what it looks like. So you put your skirt on and your belly just sort of, your pregnant belly just sort of sticks out there. And you tie here and tie this. It doesn't seem comfortable. And then you put on the coat to hide the fact that your belly's just sticking out. Poor ladies. I mean, I just like the coat. It doesn't necessarily need to be maternity. It's just a cute coat. But you can't use a skirt pattern to make yourself a skirt if you like the style, unless you like the uh, open stomach look. Oh, Vogue American designer, Albert Nippon. Got a nice ruffle. Oops. Got a nice ruffle here. Some good ruffles. There's some interesting seams happening. And that sort of 80s dropped waist. So it's Vogue 1479. Oh, so some of these designer patterns came with uh, cloth labels that you would pick up at the pattern counter when you were checking out at the fabric store. I wonder if it's in here. There's no year, but I think we're pretty safe at saying 80s. Oh, so all the ruffles and the collar and stuff. Dress, below mid-calf, has collar, pleated jabot, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, blues on bodice, back button closing, pleated hip yokes. That's an interesting seeming there. Straight skirt with back pleats, back zipper, long sleeves. I wonder if we've got the cloth label. Well, no one, no one's ever opened up this pattern. It's still perfectly folded. But did they get the label when they went to the checkout? Doesn't look like it. Let's have a look. No. No label. Neat that it's never been used though. Okay, without having a year printed on it, I'm still gonna put it in the 80s pile. So here's another Vogue, but not Vogue designer, Vogue's basic design. And look at these shoulders. These shoulders, all these women, they're sticking out so far. And yeah, again, I would, def I would say 80s again because of this dropped waist. It's that sort of 80s did 20s look. So this is Vogue 1846. And again, does not have a year anywhere on the packaging. Oh my God, those shoulders. And look at all your different collar options. You just have round neck, square neck, square neck with flappy collar, V-neck with flappy collar, contrast flappy collar. It's a lot. It's a lot of fabric too. Here's another Vogue basic design, 1261. Very different color story with these ladies. Must be a different season. Again, shoulders. We're also a fan of a, a neck bow at the moment. This lady looks like a spy. She looks like Carmen San Diego in disguise. Oh, it's maternity. What was this one, maternity? Okay, so this one, not maternity. This one, maternity. Oh, I guess I see it now. I guess you can see a little bit of what might be a belly on the lady in the red dress. But otherwise, it's just 80s, lots of fabric designs. <laughs> I like the collar on this coat or cardigan, jacket, unlined, shoulder pads, of course. It's got sort of a shawl collar that I didn't really see. It's sort of hard to see in the pattern art. Again, feels nice and flat, like no one's ever cut into it or fold folded and refolded the pieces before. Here's our last one, Vogue Individualist. 
And this one's actually got a photo of a woman along with a drawing. But everything else has just been the drawings. You know, this one again also says ask for the pattern label. Look at those sleeves. Like there's shoulders and then there's also poofy sleeves to go with it. Is this a dress or separates? Okay, it's jacket, skirt, and blouse. Look at the blouse. No shaping. Straight up and down. The skirt's interesting with all the pleats. It looks like the jacket has some sort of crazy pleat going on in the back as well. Let's see if this one has the label. It came from the same person as the other one. They don't seem to. Either they haven't kept the labels or they kept them separately. I think I've only found one or two of those in the whole time I've been doing this. No label, although... 1988. Just because of having the photo on the front, I would have said 90 or 90s, but pattern directions don't lie. At least not about the year. So this one goes in the 80s pile. So I hope that was fun sharing uh, one of my latest purchases. It's fun to go through surprise boxes like that. And I'll have to, I'll have to make a graph or a pie chart and so we can see what years all these came from because we had our 2000. That's one. We had five 90s. We had four 80s, I this, oh no, five 80s. 70s, only three, two of them children's patterns. 60s, or suspected 60s, a bunch, seven. And then 50s, which I think be, might be my favorite style-wise, uh, four. That was a good eBay pattern buy. I'm honestly not certain if I would keep any of these. Maybe this guy, maybe not. Partly because they're all, the 32 busts are all a little small. I think I might put some of them up in my Etsy shop in the next little while, but it was just fun to go through them and see all the different styles and how things change over the years. I really enjoyed looking how the pattern envelope design changes over the years and how you can use that to help date uh, patterns. I have an interesting idea for a series of videos about that coming up that I'm still getting bits together for. But thanks for joining me on going through my eBay surprise pattern box. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. There'll be lots more vintage pattern stuff where this came from, but I won't be buying many more pattern boxes like that because I do still have a big collection of my own. But it's, it was fun today just to inject some new patterns into the collection. But yeah, so like, subscribe if you like this. There'll be more. And in the meantime, happy sewing!